Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I was just about to head out to do some laundry. Yeah, I am not gonna miss this aspect of <laughs> being in New York City, having to walk to do laundry. It's like I'm a pleb, I'm a superstar, don't y'all know that? So anyway, oh, okay, so uh, I was just about to head out and then I got uh, somebody uh, tweeting me, they're like, check this stuff out. And I was like, oh my gosh. So this is this dude who's trying to cyber bully a pro for being associated with another pro who sometimes interacts with me. This is just straight up cyber bullying. So um, this guy is a professional dungeon master, semi-retired Smash Brothers player, proud owner of that creepy doll from Dune House. Never be cruel or cowardly. Oh my gosh. This is very ironic. Um, so here's the other thing I'm calling me against on. NYC. Okay, I'm kind of a snob. I'm going to tell you. Whenever someone uh, says they live in NYC, uh, they don't live in Manhattan. <laughs> they're always trying. They're like, where do you live? They're like, Turtle Bay or something like, stupid like that. Um, anyway, so uh, this guy pinned his tweet, never be cruel or cowardly. Uh, he retweets, G. Will Wilson, time for universal basic income? What the hell is that? That's like beyond socialism. <laughs> um, and then where is it? Where's, where is it? Is, okay. I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. It's just here a second ago. Oh my God. Seriously? Did he erase it between the time? Oh, oh no. It's probably in replies. I forgot about that part. Duh. So... Right here, here we go. This is, so I spend a lot of time trying to like roast people and comment on stuff and you know, fight against SJWs and get them out of comics. This guy, who I don't even know his real name because his screen name is just a bunch of emojis and kanji symbols or whatever. Um, so check this out. Uh, he says, yo, you should get this book when it comes out next month. I love it if it did really well. These were a big inspiration to me back in college. And it's a Mega Man uh, reprints. I think the deal with this is that the uh, Udon is reprinting stuff. Um, some of their older stuff, it doesn't look old. I thought it was a new comic. But they're reprinting like Street Fighter. And it's cool. It's like cool, fun stuff back before SJWs infected the industry. So this guy says, uh, hey, I'm really excited about this book. People should buy it. And then uh, Jack D who is a, a, a self-professed you know, self gatekeeper. We've seen these gatekeepers. The weird thing is they're all from Brooklyn. They're all from Brooklyn. So that Daryl Leo was from Brooklyn, a bunch of his homies. Hey, guess what? Guess what? The gatekeepers live in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> I'm just joking. There are no gatekeepers. The thing is, I, I joke about all lifestyle freakazoids, but my only problem with them is when they take over the industry and they get to be the gatekeepers. They get to decide who's in the industry and who isn't. Will Callaghan just got fired. Um, people gave me some more information on that uh, situation. Uh, he got fired by an SJW gatekeeper who was never, ever, ever going to buy the book, but was somehow able to get him kicked off. So my whole thing about we're not fans, we're customers, it doesn't count when someone was never, ever going to buy the book. That's not a customer. So uh, then this uh, cyber bully comes out here is there a reason you're signal boosting a tweet from someone who pals around with Ian Miles Chong? I'm not sure if that's spelled correctly. And other alt-right dweebs? Um, get ready for BTFO level expert response. This guy's like, I don't even think this guy realized he's BTFO. He just, he goes, because I worked on the book as a colorist and I'd like for the book to do well. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I I, I've done snap warnings. This is a clap warning. I'm about to clap. I don't even know your name, Daimooch, but you are amazing to me. Oh my gosh. Uh, then uh, Nashatobi says, stop making sense. You're blowing people's minds. Let me see the other replies. The arrogance and entitlement of this tweet. Who do you think you are? Uh, who the F are you to tell people who they can and can't talk to? Very appropriately, uh, Salt King. Because he likes the comic? Good Lord, how petty are you? The answer is very, very, very petty. So the deal is, like I said, I, I, I roast all lifestyle freakazoids, but there's there's room for you in comics. In a healthy comics industry, there is room for you. There is never, we're not trying to 
kick you out of the entire industry and the entire fandom. But you are fired from being gatekeepers. You are needing to leave being in uh, positions of influence, as a, as they say. SJWs seek positions of influence, not authority. Um, I want to see this. A whole bunch of uh, have popped up since I started. Because they are trying to promote and sell a book they worked on and are proud of, you effing ass. Why don't you stop policing others and worry about yourself? <laughs> the nomad voted right just uh, gets very straight to the point. Why don't you F off, Jack? Uh, <laughs> sounds like something you'd hear like in a uh, black exploitation movie. Why don't you F off, Jack? <laughs> but uh, anyway, so let me see if anything new popped up since he uh, got BTFO'd. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so yeah, so stop cyberbullying. G. Will Wilson, we are not going to provide a universal basic income. Get a damn job. <laughs> what the hell is that? There is uh, there is something universal basic income. It's called getting a job. Um, but uh, people like this guy, uh, they're not, you're not in charge. Nobody gets to decide who uh, is in comics. If you like comics, you're, you're in. Um, but you guys had your time. 2014 to 2017, you guys ruled the roost. From the smallest indie to the biggest major publisher, you guys decided what happened. And two things happened. Normal fans left. <laughs> They're just waiting for it to come back. They're keeping an eye on C.B. Sobolski, seeing what he's going to do. And you uh, put uh, dozens, uh, I believe the count was 50, 50 small business owners who have had stores for years to decades went out of business because a bunch of SJW, Brooklyn, hipster, hate-filled, neo-bigots decided who gets to be in comics and who uh, doesn't. It's 2018. I know it's 2018 because I see it at the bottom corner of my screen and uh, your time of influence is over. You're just a regular customer. Buy stuff or don't. Make stuff or don't. But, bro, you got BTF dope. Bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving us a super chat and the Patreon. You're finding original content. I just got a guy who uh, emailed me. Uh, he did a redesign of the um, cover I did for Iron Sights Book One. Oh my gosh, it's so good, so good. So I'm asking him what his rate is before I share it. I also got to track down the guy who did the logo. Uh, but things are moving, uh, proceeding apace. Honestly, I'm going to have to deal with these people when it's come out, but I think they're going to get destroyed. I think I won't even have to say anything. I think they're just going to get destroyed by normal people. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.